Hi guys, my name is Ben Guilford, I'm the owner of The Fire Brick Company, and in this video we're going to take you through a couple of options for how to finish the front of your oven. We're going to show you how to install a granite landing, like this one. We're also going to show you how you can install a stainless steel wrap uh, in case you don't have enough room to have a landing. Uh, so guys, if you're installing one of our optional stainless steel wraps, it's a pretty simple process like we did before. We trim around uh, the, the tiles of the oven uh, and uh, get that all nice and flush. And then you get your stainless steel wrap and you push it in all the way in, uh, sitting on, on the base. And there's actually a hole on either side that you're gonna put one of those big nails through into the calcium silicate board. Uh, now, please be aware, the other thing, the feature of these, is they have a folded return on the bottom edge. Uh, and that's very deliberate, so that stiffens up this front face, so it keeps it nice and flat. But it also tucks in underneath the calcium silicate board. So you actually have to tap it in with a mallet and it will bite in underneath the calcium silicate board. And that'll give you a really nice finish. Uh, if you don't have room for a landing, this will give you a really lovely finish. Guys, now we're going to show you how to install granite landing in front of your P85 oven. The granite landing is an optional extra that we offer uh, for building your oven. And it's just a really lovely thing to have in front of the mouth of the oven. Having some granite that you can pull out a tray onto or you can leave your door on is just a lovely thing to have. And if you want to see a little bit more about the why have a landing, check out the video that we've made on that. The link's in the description. Uh, so what we need to do here is firstly we need to raise uh, the surrounds up so that we can put the landing on them. Now our floor is just over 100 mil 4 inches high uh, and our granite is 20 mil thick. So we need to make up about 80 mil in order to have the granite sitting flush with the surface of the floor. Uh, so we're going to use good old-fashioned wire cut bricks. You do not need to use a particularly good brick It's not going to be getting hot out here uh, So I went down to our hardware store and I bought literally the cheapest bricks that they had Okay, uh, and the idea is just to bring the level up Around this area and then in the end I'm actually going to render over this surface anyway Or you could tile over it. You could cover it with something. Okay, you don't need to see this surface All we need is something that's strong enough to handle the weight of the landing, but also to be there for many, many, many years. Uh, so if I put this on here, check my height, I've got about, let's say about 10 or 12 mil to make up. Uh, and I've got two layers to do that in because I'm gonna put a layer uh, of adhesive or you could use mortar under the uh, brick. And I'm gonna be putting a layer in between the brick and the granite. So I'm gonna to aim to do roughly maybe six to eight millimeters underneath the brick, and then I'll be left with around five millimeters or so uh, up on top. Okay, now again, uh, you can attach your bricks on a stand with just about whatever you want. You could use ordinary brickies mortar. Uh, I'm gonna be using tile adhesive because got plenty of it and it sets relatively quickly uh, and it's the same material that I'm going to use to put the landing on these bricks. that we haven't notched this surface like we did when we put the landing on the brick oven and you might think, oh, well, wait, why not? Is it something to do with the P85? Nothing to do with the oven, everything to do with the substrate that we're landing the granite on. So we've used hollow cut bricks. They've got holes in them. So when I put this granite on, there's plenty of 
places for that uh, adhesive to be displaced into, they'll go into the holes. Uh, whereas when we built the brick oven, we used concrete blocks to support the, uh, the, the granite because that's all we could find in the thickness that we needed. So long story short, we don't need to notch this because there's plenty of places for the adhesive to, to get in.